Good morning from Disney Springs. We are here today because over at Marie and Enzo's they offer breakfast with Santa Claus. So we, we purchased this and we're headed over to eat breakfast with Santa Claus. I'm very excited. Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. <laughs> They're going to have eggs and bacon and sausage and pancakes and like drinks. Mm -hmm. It's going to be very nice. Santa's going to be there. You get a free oh, yeah. picture with Santa. We're also going to see Santa. All right, we had a quick stop at the bathroom. Jackson's just getting some water. We wanted to show you his Christmas sweater. Let's, Let's see, see it, buddy. It. Whoa. Oh, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. I think Santa is going to love the sweater. Yeah. Right, bud? So we like to park at the Orange Garage. And from the Orange Garage, you just go straight past the AMC, past the fountain, towards the gigantic balloon. But just before you get to the balloon, you make a right to get to Marie and Enzo's. We can kind of see the sign peeking up over the top over there. So our breakfast is at 9.30. We got here at 9 just to be safe, to walk from the garage to Marie and Enzo's. We didn't want to be late because the breakfast is only an hour and a half long. And if you are late, you just kind of miss that time. So because it's such a short thing, we wanted to give ourselves enough time to get there on time. But uh, Disney Springs opens at 9 a.m. I didn't know that. Yeah, well, most of the stores open at 10. Yeah, but in order to get through the metal detector at security, they open at 9. Right. So keep that in mind, too. We are passing by a lot of Christmas trees, which are all part of the Christmas tree hunt or the Christmas tree trail. And you can see each one has a different theme. This one is Moana. This tree is Moana. Oh, it's Henry, the Christmas squirrel. Oh, this one is Raya and the Last Dragon. You can see a little tuk-tuk inside of there. And the they did just start testing characters in flight, so it is starting to lift up off the ground right now. Look at that, it's barely off the ground. They're checking everything. So this right here is Marie and Enzo's Pizzeria, or Pizza Ponte. And then we've got Marie and Enzo's, the entrance to the main restaurant, which is right next door to the Edison, and just across from STK. And on a lot of these videos, we visit uh, the ganachery, which is kind of right down there. And here we are for breakfast with Santa. This event includes a delightful family-style Italian breakfast feast, a meet and greet with Santa and his elves, a family photo with Santa Claus, takeaway treats for the kids, kid-friendly holiday activities, Prosecco and mimosas for adults. One. One, one for each adult. One complimentary Prosecco, but there are other drinks you can purchase. Gotcha. <laughs> and you can see here is a QR code if you'd like to purchase this. Pricing begins at $30 for children and $50 for adults. And I can tell you, all of the higher price tickets are sold out. Yeah, we tried to get the like better seating. Although I don't think it matters because I was watching. So we found out about this from our friends, um, Dis Life of Ours, Ray and Jude. And I watched their video and it looks like Santa's in another room. Like when they took their picture with Santa, he, was in a, he wasn't in the room with you. Yeah, so I don't know what the premium seating is. Maybe it's like Lakeview? I don't know. Yeah, we'll find out when we get inside. We have a little display outside breakfast for Santa. This seat is reserved for Santa. Do not sit in it. And he's got a gift there. It's a good looking chair. Santa's got nice taste in comfy chairs. So when they're not doing breakfast with Santa, Marie and Enzo's is an Italian style lunch and dinner restaurant. And here's a look at the traditional menu. Oh, this is just the lunch menu. I'm assuming they will change this for the dinner menu. And they said that they do have a kids menu available or you can scan this QR code. Gone inside and you can see Pizza Ponte is over there and we're heading through the door that says all gates because Marie and Enzo's has a kind of like an airport theme. Oh, there's some carolers. have all kinds of different airport posters around for different places here in Florida and then around the world. All right, so we're starting out with a little fruit plate, some pastries over here. Ooh, yeah. And you want some? Some parfait. You got it, buddy. And they already have waters and stuff at the table. Some milk and syrup? Yep, that's definitely syrup. Okay. And we are right underneath the carolers, so we don't have a good view of them, but we do have a great ear of them. I don't know what that is. We're in a good earshot of them. We can hear them very well right here. 
So I don't know what the premium seating was. I'm not sure. I'm thinking it was over by the windows. Because, yeah, when I remember looking, it was like these tables out here were the premium seats. And I am assuming we're going to meet Santa inside the first class lounge over there. So when we sat down, Jackson had right in front of him a little thing here that says, Dear Santa, hello, my name is. I am X years old. Here's one thing that I did that was extra nice. And what do I want for Christmas? Thank you, Merry Christmas. A little letter you can give to Santa. And then there is a coloring page where you can color Santa. And they give us some crowns, too. Like Tim Tracker? So Jackson's having a poppy seed muffin. There's also a blueberry muffin. It looks like maybe like a banana nut muffin. Uh, apple turnover, some croissant, a chocolate croissant is what I got. What did you eat? I had a regular croissant. Okay. I was so hungry. There's also <laughs> butter and stuff on the table too. Yeah, so there's granola for the parfait and then jams for something oh, and butter. Oh, Jen got a hot chocolate. Oh, look at this thing. <laughs> It's very festive. Is that good for you, love? That's perfect. Thank you. Jackson, do you hear those bells? Do you think that Santa is coming soon because of the bells? Maybe. Those are the, that's the noise that his reindeer make. You know, today it's the 20th of December. And I'm just really happy that Santa was able to get some time off to have breakfast with us. Right? Because Christmas is right around the corner. Yeah. How did he get time off this close to Christmas? He's magic. What do you mean? I know. Are you happy that Santa's going to have breakfast with us? Do you think he uses like a time turner like Hermione? Maybe. Maybe. So Maybe he's already celebrated Christmas. I will say though, one thing that I, I don't... They call it breakfast with Santa, but he's not really like eating in the room I wouldn't want him to. Well, I'm just saying though, like for, for people who are planning Oh my this, goodness! What, is he here? Santa! Look at... Oh my gosh. Oh no. I There's spoke, Santa. I spoke too soon. He's coming out to eat breakfast. He's looking around for pancakes. Do you see Santa? People are clapping for him. Hi Santa. You excited for Santa, buddy? There he is. <laughs> We're going to sit down and tell him that in just a minute, buddy. What are we going to tell him? He said, I want the O game. Oh, he's telling Santa already what he wants. By the way, the O game is something we saw in Hawaii. It's giant Connect Four. Yeah, Connect Four. Oh my goodness, look at this, buddy. There he is. Oh, hi. Hey, soon, buddy. Soon. Oh yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna we're gonna sit down and tell him. <laughs> we're gonna talk to him a little bit more rather than just yelling at him when he walks by. We were just saying hello to him this morning. So Jackson doesn't really understand Santa yet. So he just thinks that, that Santa's like, he just yells at him and he's going to get his present right now. Right. So, um, so yeah, so, we're, so we're working on it. So you tell him what you want and then on Christmas he brings it to you, right? So when we go into the other room to talk to him, then you tell him you want the old game, okay? That was a bit like the Beatles, wasn't it? I, I, so I spoke too soon. Santa does come around and like walk by the tables and say hi to you. He takes a little taste of everybody's breakfast. No. No, he doesn't. <laughs> He's like, can I just have a little sip of your hot chocolate? He like comes by, he pulls out the spoon from the parfait and he just takes a big bite of it. I would share with Santa. Would you? Yeah, I would, yeah. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. He's Santa. It's true. An elf came by and said hello to us and that's what happens is an elf is supposed to take us to see Santa. And I got really excited because she walked right by us and she said hello. And I'm like, ah? Eh? And then she went to a different table. Well, it seems like they're starting on that side of the room. She's right next to us right now. She's right behind me, isn't she? So they're starting to bring out the food right now, and they put the eggs and tater tots in front of Jen, and in front of me, I get the bacon, sausage, and pancakes. This is exactly the way that I like it. So another closer look here, we got some delicious bacon, some sausage links that are very thick and juicy looking. Okay, you can have some bacon. Got some pancakes, some tater tots, and some scrambled eggs. So, this, the quality of this kind of reminds me of like um, a hotel breakfast. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I wish that they had elevated a little bit where you could order like an omelet or um, like eggs in any way. Yeah. Um, but I think kids will love it. And now the carolers, I think, are going to start to make their way around the restaurant singing carols close to everybody's table. Oh, 
Merry Christmas! Carolers going by. I like how he had like brass knuckles, but they were jingle bells. Oh yeah. He was like, he's like, mess with me and I'll jingle your bells. <laughs> Alright, so Sprinkles came and got us. And now we have to follow her to see Santa. And Jackson's got his list. And this is where we're going. Oh, he's excited. Oh, you're running like Rudolph. Oh yeah, Run Run Rudolph. That's a song. Or is it Run Run Rocket? Ooh, buddy, this is exciting. Going in the first class lounge. Ooh, I don't think you know how to, oh my goodness, there he is. There's Santa. Oh man. Oh my goodness. I think we just have to wait in line really quick, buddy, and then we'll be next. Oh, it's a photo pass photographer, even better. Oh, Does that mean that we get a photo pass? I don't know. I have my phone, just in well, case. It's, it's all included. Yeah, but like. Oh, like a digital picture you mean? Yeah. Magic oh yeah, with Santa. Give yeah. Santa a, a Tinkerbell. Yeah. <laughs> he's ready. Whoa. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. <laughs> Thank you. Oh yeah, Jackson, tell Santa what you want for Christmas. And so you would like the O Game Connect 4. That's fun, <laughs> I love that. We drop them in, that yeah. is a fun game. And a marble, the computer so I can hear you. I, I have a marble. A marble run game? Oh, and there's a marble at my house. He already has one, but he wants a second one. Yeah, but he wants it. Oh. He wants another one, yeah. And that's where we put the marble that goes down the track? Yeah. That's, that's great. And Hot Wheels. Oh, I love Hot Wheels. See, the little car, buddy? Those are your little race cars, right? That you put down your track? We love to play with the race cars. Oh, they're fantastic. <laughs> well, thank you for telling me that. <laughs> and your fun shirt. And thank you. Well, you're welcome. Do you want to ask Santa what kind of cookies he wants to us to leave out for him? Oh, yeah. What should we leave out for Santa? <clears throat> well, I like gingerbread. I like chocolate chip. I like sugar cookies. I like peanut butter cookies. I like those kind with the Hershey's Kisses on them. Ooh. I like M&M cookies. I like Snickerdoodles. I oh. like Pepper Cocker. Um, I like all the cookies. <laughs> Whoa, buddy. That's a lot of cookies. So, so, no, I can we, we do can, that? I think we can. Can that's we pick at least one of those to leave out? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. You want to say thank you, Santa? <laughs> oh, you want to tell him Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thank you, Santa. Ooh, what's in there, buddy? Here, let's move out of the way. Thank you, Santa. <laughs> oh my goodness. Whoa, a candy cane. A candy what else? Cane? What else is in there? Oh, oh, no, wait, we gotta eat it outside, buddy. It. Yeah, we don't wanna. We're gonna wait to open it until we get outside, okay, buddy? What else did you get? Cookies. Oh, my oh gosh. man. Santa gave you cookies? Santa, these are ginger molasses cookies. Whoa. They contain gluten and eggs. <laughs> that was like the very first thing on the label. So there was a PhotoPass photographer in there and they did give us a card with all of the photos on it, which I have PhotoPass included on my annual pass, so I was able to get those for free digitally. But then they also printed out our family photo for us to see right away. And they gave it to us, printed out. So we did find out that the premium seating was the Lakeview window seating over here. And that cost an extra $5, but the rest of them were just normal $50 seating, which I don't, I don't know that I find, too, like we almost, tried to find somewhere that was the premium seating because we thought we were gonna be closer to Santa, but we weren't. Like you wouldn't have been. It was just over here by the windows, which where we were was just totally fine. You can see most people are all done with breakfast and done seeing Santa. We have some made up airlines here. Trans Global Airways, Italian Aerial Lines, Trans Global Airways, Caribbean Fly TGA. Ooh. 
Yeah, it makes me want to go on a tropical vacation to the Bahamas or to Daytona. So there are a total of three different restaurants that are associated with this brand, Marie and Enzo's. There's Pizza Ponte, there is Marie and Enzo's, and then there is Enzo's Hideaway. Here it is down here. This is the shirt. It's the tunnel bar, and that is, when we go outside, I'll show you. It's basically right underneath all these restaurants right there. But you can see they have different merch for each of the restaurants. And this is a nice Orlando, Florida shirt. I like this one. And then they were just telling me that the Edison is also included in this group of restaurants over here. And we've definitely been to the Edison and we'll put some links to videos in the description down below of our experience at the Edison. So we are all done at Marie and Enzo's for breakfast with Santa. What did you think? So I really enjoyed the experience, but I did want to mention I don't think it was worth the price that we paid for the adult breakfast. Right. So adults, like we said earlier, were $50 a piece for our non-premium seating. And then children were $30. I feel like they could price it at $40 and I'd feel better yeah. about it. I just don't think the quality of the food was like that good. It felt like a buffet breakfast at the hotel. Yeah, I think that if they had like uh, an actual menu that you could order from, I would pay $50. Right. But I, I don't know, I just don't think it was worth the price. But I do think the service was fantastic. Santa was fantastic. We got to spend a lot of time with him, which was great. I just think the food quality could be like upped a little bit. Like, give me an omelet. Perfect. <laughs> give me a fresh cracked egg. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. That would be the greatest addition ever. But I did like that you had the option to get a hot chocolate. That was yeah. really nice. And unlimited hot chocolate. Yeah, it was a good way to start the morning for sure. But yeah, that's just, just my opinion. So if you're planning on, on scheduling something like this for next year, hopefully this will help you kind of plan for uh, future Christmases. I wanted to stop into Javiana's because Jackson needs some new flip-flops. And they've got some his size. And they got fun styles too. Well, they have a whole Disney collection over here. Oh, I like this. They got Star Wars. You got stormtroopers playing basketball against a Wookiee and they're losing because he's so tall. You got Grogu, Darth Vader walking in, uh, what is it, an AT-AT? Which ones did you find? Some Minecraft ones? You don't even know what Minecraft is. So after kind of trying on some sandals here and there, we know that we want some sandals with a strap, but he's like a nine and a half and they don't do half sizes here. So the tens don't have the strap and the nines do. So I think we're just gonna hold off until summer when his feet are a little bit bigger. You know what it is right now? What? Just a little bit before Christmas. Mm -hmm. It would be terrible if we were to have a nightmare before Christmas, Christmas tree. I like Zero up at the top. He's my favorite. Cool. We're searching for Oogie Boogie. Right here? We're not finding it. That's, that's a skull. And there's Sally. So we're headed to the Lego store and there is a line to get in. But we're not actually going to do any shopping. We're just going to the exit to use some of the like Legos that they have set up for kids to play with. So the idea is that you're supposed to take the Lego out of these bins, these Lego bricks, and turn them into little cars and race them down the track. We did it. Oh, winner. I like it. We're not even doing the tree hunt, but we're just passing by all of them. This is the Toy Story one. I like how subtle they are. You have to kind of look a little bit deeper into them to see what their theme is. So we're down sort of across from Marketplace Snacks and just before the co-op, right next to Giardelli, there's a Disney PhotoPass studio in here where we can get free photos because our annual pass has PhotoPass included in it. So we can come in here and just do free studio photos. All right, our first one is this magical shot right here without an actual background, but what they do is they project a background onto it with a projector. So we just did this scene over here where they use a projector to project the background onto it. And we'll put in some examples of that here. Camera noise, camera noise, camera noise. And then they have another location that's like a full out set with trees and lanterns, like street lights, sleighs, presents, benches, snowshoes, just logs underneath the tree. So I do have to kind of adjust something that I said. I said it was free for us because we have an annual pass. The PhotoPass Studio is free for everybody. You just either have to have the PhotoPass package on your annual pass or pay for the PhotoPass package to get the photos. So. There you go, that's the part that costs. The actual taking of the photos is free. They'll just have watermarks on them. Oh, this is a tree devoted entirely to us. It is an annual pass holder tree with giant annual pass holder magnets on it and a monorail. Oh, and... 
Jackson just became an official pass holder yeah. like a month ago. And look at that hidden Mickey right there. Oh yeah. We did it everybody. Yes, Good job, buddy. Me. Yeah. Hi right, buddy, pick what you want to go in. Did you see that all the horses have Santa hats on? They're all dressed up for Christmas. And they're tied on with little Christmas bows. This is me at Christmas. Ah, super excited. Yeah, it does. Pro tip for the carousel at Disney Springs, the horses that have the poles on them go up and down with the rotation. But the ones without the poles are just like spring horses that you can go as fast as you want to on. All right, here we go, bud. You ready? Yeah, see, we're going up and down. Whoa, you like it? Say hi, mommy. Here she comes, let's look for her. Look for her, there she is. Say hi, mommy. So I did want to mention the train and the carousel are kind of over here. The carousel is by Earl of Sandwich and the train is sort of by Trendy. And they cost either $3 for a single ride or $5 for two rides. And if you have to ride with them, like I had to ride the carousel with him, I get to ride for free. So we only needed two coins, so it cost us $5 to ride both the train and the carousel, which was nice. Originally supposed to be exclusive to Walt Disney World, you can now get the Mr. Toad's Wild Ride popcorn bucket here at Disney Springs. Oh, an Encanto tree. They have all their doors and everything. This is pretty neat. Ooh, we're not on a tasting mission today, but Amaranth has all kinds of different holiday treats right now, including this Santa Claus petite cake with little tiny cookies and milk on the top. We wanted to stop by the Archimedes screw and turn it one time. Look at him go. He's doing it. We got a couple of trees in here. We got the Disney Plus season streamings tree. And then what's this one? Frozen, maybe? Oh yeah, we got ice skates and carrots. I would say that this is frozen. All right, so there you have it. That was our trip to Disney Springs for breakfast with Santa. Jackson really enjoyed himself seeing Santa. And he was a, like, it was a really personal and like long experience with Santa. Breakfast was good, like the actual experience was good. But like we said, the food could, could do a little bit of improvement. Service was fantastic and Santa was fantastic. But, and then the rest of Disney Springs was great. Like it was neat to see some of the trees on the Christmas tree hunt. And then it was neat to get on the train and the carousel, do some Lego and then just kind of like walk around Disney Springs in this like lovely weather that we're having. So all in all, a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. <laughs>